Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see and take a look at some of the count functions in Microsoft Excel. Now count is a very important function and a basic usage of a count function as the name suggests is that it helps us to count how many records are present in a table or any range of data that is given. So it is used to count the number of records. But uh, a general approach or a general usage of the count function is a simple count. So what is its limitation? The limitation of the count function is it is only used to uh, count the numerical data. That is if the data is present in the format of the decimals or in the numbers like integers or in a date format, then only it counts them. So uh, here for the count function, the data is also considered as an integer. So for understanding its usage, uh, very simply, we can just see this whole data that has been given to us. That is a column with uh, the heading as data and we have different types of data in it. Now the first uh, row is a date, which is today's date. Then uh, the second row is a simple integer that is 300. The next is a simple decimal value, which is 30.12. Next, we have some text, which is a string value. Then we have a Boolean value true. And on the last record, there is an error. Uh, we just put a formula that is three divided by zero, which results in an error that is divided by zero error. So this is a kind of an error. Now out of all these six records, if we just try to apply a count function to them, then let's see what happens. So here I just simply write equals count, open the parenthesis, provide the range of the data and close the parenthesis. And as soon as I press enter, then you can see that we have got the answer as three. While uh, the range we provided was from G5 till G10. Now uh, in G5 till G10, we have six records, but the answer that we got was three. It is because only three of them are present in the numerical format. That is uh, either the date, the integers or the decimals. So that's how we can use the count function. But what if we want to count that how many textual data are present uh, in the records or in the range, then how can we do that? So a simple uh, alternative for this is a count a function. Now this count a function, what does it does? It just counts uh, the total records and gives us the result that how many records are non empty. So if you want to count the number of the non empty cells, then this count a function can be used. And generally it is used as an alternative of counting the number of the textual data or the textual records that are present in the table. So if we just uh, try to apply it on the same range of data, then all you got to do is uh, type count a, put an opening parenthesis, provide it with the range of the data and close the parenthesis. And as soon as you press enter, then you can see that the data that you have got is six. Now, the reason we have got this data as six is because it has counted all the cells which uh, consist of some data and none of the cells are blank. So that is why it has returned the data as six means that all these six cells have some kind of data in them. Now, what if we uh, just delete some kind of text from here? So if we just delete it and press enter, then you can see that uh, the count a function now returns five, which means that in the range G5 to G10, only five cells are non empty while one cell is empty. So that is why it has not been counted by count a function. Now, if I just press control Z and apply count a function again, uh, by opening the parenthesis and then I'm going to select two more cells which are empty cells and then close the parenthesis. Then also you can see the answer is six and the explanation is same that it is used to count the number of the uh, cells which actually have data or non empty cells. That is why the answer is six. Now there is another function of count that is known as count blank. And as the name suggests, it is used to count the blank cells or the empty cells that are present in the data. 
to understand its usage what can we do is just uh, clear up some of the text over here like this and this okay so now in this uh, total range of data we have three blank cells and three uh, non empty cells that is the three cells have data in them while three cells are empty so uh, while using the count function uh, now you can see the answer has been changed to 3 now in this particular cell i am just going to type in count blank so uh, this is count blank function and it also accepts only one argument that is the range of the data so just provide it with the range close the parenthesis and press enter then 3 is what it returns that is because only 3 uh, cells are empty so it counts the number of the empty cells now what if we provide some uh, data to this cell like uh, say 400 so in that case uh, this is actually a date counterpart of uh, 400 cause its data type has been changed to date if you want you can just change it to general and it will again change itself to 400 now as soon as i did that you must have noticed that for the count blank function the answer has been changed to 2 which means there are now two blank cells available in the data while as the count a function is considered the argument or the result of this count a function has been changed to 4 which means that now four cells are containing some kind of a data or they are non-empty cells all right now these are the count functions and apart from these count functions there are two important functions that uh, you must notice uh, these functions are permute and combine now first of all let us understand that what is permute and combine so in mathematics there is a concept of permutations and combinations that helps us to identify the various combinations of a given set of data so a general formula of permutation is p equals to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial now using this particular formula we can find out the permutations of a given set of data this is used widely in the series uh, calculations or in the probability calculations as well so that is why the permutations and the combinations uh, hold utmost importance in uh, the calculations so that is why I am uh, covering this permute and combine as well in this topic or in this video. Now if we just uh, try to find out that what is a factorial. So factorial of a number is a very simple thing. Here we have the factorial of 4 as 24. And factorial of 2 is taken as 2 but how do we get it? So if we just want to find out the factorial of 4 what we can do is just multiply 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so that is how we can find the factorial of a particular number that is we got to multiply that particular number with the number uh, just below it up till it reaches 1 so if we just evaluate 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 then we get the answer as 24 similarly for 2 what would be its factorial that would be 2 multiplied by 1 that is 2 into 1 which gives the answer as 2 so that is how we can find the factorial of a given number now if you want to find the permutation uh, then whole of this formula needs to be applied but luckily with the help of the excel we do not need to do such things what we're going to do is simply use a function known as permute now if we just apply this permute so put an equal sign and write permute then put a tab now it accepts two arguments the number and the number chosen now the number uh, that I'm going to provide it is 4 so you can just take it from any other cell or what you can do is simply type the number so here I'm just going to type a 2 close the parenthesis and press enter so the answer is 12 now if we just put this uh, whole equation in this formula then what do we get is 4 is uh, the number which is uh, the value of n and 2 is the number chosen which is the value of r so if we just try to uh, solve this formula then it is simply 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial which is 24 divided by 2 and the answer we get is 12 similarly there is uh, another important concept that is of a combination 
Now using the formula of combination, we can find out that out of a given set of data, how many combinations can be found. Its formula is simple uh, and similar to that of the permutation formula. Only the denominator is multiplied by the factorial of R. So if we just uh, try to look at its example, then put an equals, write combin, open the parenthesis, the number is 4 again and the number chosen is 2 again. And then close the parenthesis, press enter, then the answer we get is 6. Because if we look at the combination formula, then we get as 24 divided by 4 minus 2 factorial which gives 2 into 2 means 24 divided by 4 is what we get when we solve this formula of combination with the given digits. This will give us the answer as 6. So that's what we have got. Now uh, apart from this there are two other functions of count these are countif and countifs. Now these are the statistical functions which we will learn about in the next video. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.